Hey guys, in this video, we're going to see how you can fix the Hyper-V virtual machine error when you're trying to create a new vir virtual machine and you get the error, the boot loader did not load an operating system. So when this happened, uh, the most common uh, solution is to um, make sure that you create the virtual machine in the correct version. So what I'll do is I'm going to um, shut down this machine. I'm going to turn it off. Now I'm just going to close it and in your Hyper-V manager, so open up Hyper-V manager um, you can click on the search icon or in on the Windows start button and open up Hyper-V manager on your Hyper-V manager what you want to do is uh, delete your old virtual machine you, if you don't need it if you want to keep it that's fine you can create a new one so I'm going to click on new virtual machine and then what you want to do is go into next give it a name and then make sure that you choose the correct generations if you choose generation 2 and if your ISO file does not match with that generation you're going to have an error so that is because your ISO version has to match with the one that you have uh, selected here so I'm going to choose generation 1 instead of generation 2 and then click on next and then you can uh, go through the basic setups on all of this give it a name and uh, provide some settings in here such as the size of the disk and now we're going to choose the ISO file and click on next then click on finished and say fair to create virtual hard disk that's because I have already created one with the same name so I'm just going to give it a, a different name And now once it's uh, created, you can start up. So expand and connect. And click on the start button. And after that, it should work fine. And that's it. You can see now it load up without the error. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. So just to show you, I'm just going to delete this one here. Delete. And I'm just going to delete this one as well. Delete. And you can see here if I create a new virtual machine. So I'm just going to give this one number three. So this is mixed up with the name. And if I choose generation number two, you can see when I try to run it. So here I'm going to choose the ISO file and then click on next. Click on finished. And now I'm going to start up. And you can see when I start with a virtual machine number 3, I'm going to get the error if I choose version number 2. And that's it. Just give that a try and see how you go. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.